I received a question about how can you know if God puts something on your heart? How do you know if it's God that put it on your heart or just something that you're wanting to do or say or teach? The quick answer is I do believe God puts things on our heart, but I can't say that it's from God just because it is on my heart. And there are three sermons you want to preach. There are three lessons you want to teach. And it's either from God, from the devil, or for yourself. Not everything that comes to your mind is from God. Sometimes what is on your heart and mind is, number one, for yourself and from your own self. And this message would please yourself. It makes you feel better. And it might even please the people that you're preaching and teaching to. In your mind, it makes you look the best to preach this message. It probably even pleases the crowd the best. But in 1 Thessalonians 2, 4, it says, But as we were allowed of God to be put in trust with the gospel, even so we speak not as pleasing men, but God, which trieth our hearts. In Galatians 1, 10, it says, For do I now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. In 2 Timothy 4, 2 through 3, it says, Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. Reprove rebuke exhort with all long suffering and doctrine for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears there are many men who may not say anything wrong but they give an incomplete message and that message is for themselves most times if what god has put on your heart to preach teach or do has to cut corners or leave something out, I'd say that is something you're doing for yourself. In Acts 20, 27, Paul said, For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of God. You can't say the whole Bible when you preach or teach in one lesson, but you can give the whole truth about something and not deliberately cut corners and trim the message to either make yourself look better or make people more happy with what you're saying. And if you do that, then that's for yourself. For example, some men have convic convictions against going to preach at a certain place, maybe at a contemporary church or a church with bad doctrine. They would say the decision to preach there isn't from God. But, but sure it would be. Because you're doing right as long as you don't trim the message. You don't want to trim the message that God wants you to preach because God wants you to preach the word to everybody you're not limited to just preaching to people who have the right doctrine. And now if you go to the contemporary church and throw away everything you stand for along with your King James Bible and, and use a, a, a false version of the Bible, God did not tell you to do that. And you did it for yourself to make you look better. The message wasn't from God. It would have been from your man's spirit, not the Holy Spirit. So there's a message that you preach that's for yourself and it may be on your heart but god didn't put it on your heart and then there's another one that's from the devil you know your your thought message lesson idea or whatever else is from the devil you know it's from the devil if it is in contradiction to what the bible says the first time the devil shows up in your bible he tells eve the opposite of what god said in Genesis 3, 3 through 5, it says, But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. The thought contradicted the words of God. He said, Ye shall not surely die. That is how you know the thought wasn't from God. Something may be heavy on your heart. But if whatever is heavy on your heart goes against any of the scriptures, then you know it's not from God. You know God didn't put that on your heart. You either put it on there, you either got it on your heart, or the devil did. Now the next thing, it's actually from God. It can be from the devil, from you, and it can actually be from God, what's on your heart. In the Old Testament, God spoke to men through dreams and visions. When they preached, they would say, Thus saith the Lord. They didn't have a Bible. 
but God spoke to them directly in some way. Jacob had dreams. Ezekiel had visions. Moses talked with God face to face. The Lord helped man make decisions with the Urim and the Thummim. One time he even spoke to a man through his donkey. He used the angel of the Lord to talk to Manoah, Gideon, Joshua, Abraham, Jacob, and all types of Bible characters. In Daniel, God spoke to men through some handwriting on the wall. God used different means to get a message across. Now, today, we have a complete Bible, and the apostle Peter, who walked and talked with Jesus, saw miracles and performed miracles himself. He told us plainly that now we have a more sure word of prophecy in 2 Peter 1.19. So we got what God wants us to have. We got the words of God. And if your thought, your lesson, your idea, your sermon, your message, or whatever it is, goes in line with what God said in his book, then I think that is from God, not from the devil, and not just for yourself. Now, you may disagree with me on this part, but God said to preach the word. So, for example, when I teach Sunday school or I make a study on here, I'm, I believe I'm at liberty to teach any part of the book that I want to because God told us to preach the word. He's given me what he wants me to say. And if I'm teaching the word, then I'm in line with that. I might be impressed to teach a certain thing at a certain time. I might have something heavy on my heart and mind, but I can't just say God gave me that because it's heavy on my heart. However, I can say he did give it to me if I got it from the Bible. Because that is a more sure word of prophecy. My heart and my mind can deceive me. I don't really like to say, God told me to do this or that, or God gave me this message here just for tonight. Maybe he did, but at the same time, it, it gives people the idea that God might be uh, talking to me outside of the Bible. Whether they think it, it's through a voice or a dream or a vision I'm having. I understand most Christians use the phrase, God put this on my heart. And there really isn't anything wrong with saying that. It's just an expression. But I personally don't believe that God talks to me outside of his word. Obviously, there's not a list in the Bible that says, teach on this lesson on this certain day. Now, I can be driving down the street and something just jumps in my head from God. However, it would have to be something he said in his word. Sometimes I've been teaching or something and a thought pops in my head out of nowhere. And that thought was from the Bible. So I believe that it's from God. In John 14, 26, it says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. You can be up just preaching or teaching and something pops in your head that you had read in the Bible or had studied before and you had no plans of even saying it. I believe that's from God because it's from his word. And pretty much to sum this up, everything you do needs to be backed up with the scriptures. You can't just say God put it on your heart if the thing isn't backed up with the Bible. It, I mean, if, if God's putting stuff on your heart that's not even in the Bible, then you're getting extra biblical revelations and God's not doing that. And if, you know, if everybody could just get up and say, well, God put this on my heart to say this, and what you're saying is not even in the Bible, how can you be that confident in yourself that that's not from the devil? Or if it's just something that's meaningless. A lot of times you can listen to a pastor preach, and what he's saying is just meaningless. It has nothing to it. It's, it's not evil, but it's not good. He's not, he's not saying anything bad, but he's not saying anything good. He's just saying absolutely nothing. And you look and you see there are thousands of people sitting there listening to him. And he just said absolutely nothing for 30 minutes. He wasted everyone's time for 30 minutes to an hour. Surely, if he gets paid that much money and has that many people come to listen to him, surely he can at least study a little bit. And you're left wondering how he even got in that position that he's in to begin with. He doesn't say anything but like cute little pickup lines to get people to clap at the end of after everything he says. But what he's saying isn't from God. It's not even really even necessarily from the devil because he isn't saying anything to convict people or to edify anybody. He's just wasting everyone's time. But yet he'll say, God, put this on my heart. Did God really put that on his heart when what he said had nothing to do with the Bible 
or, or anything like that? Can you really say that with confidence? I personally can't say God told me to say this unless what I'm about to say actually came from the Bible. In John 16, 7, it says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. Now listen to this. And when he was come, he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment of sin because they believe not on me. Now when, when something's from God, it's going to convict people. It's going to show them that they're a sinner and things like that because that's what the Bible does. It tells you all about man. That shows that man didn't write it. God wrote it because it's against man. Now, all these little messages that man has that he says he got from God, if they're not reproving the world of sin and doing these things that the Bible says the Holy Spirit does, then it's probably not from God. Just these good messages making men feel better about themselves and that, you know, some preachers say they won't say the word sin. That's not from God. You can't even say the gospel without saying the word sin. So did God put it on their heart to teach a gospel that doesn't mention the blood or mention sin when the Bible mentions blood and sin? You can't say that's from God. I'm not a good speaker, and I don't have a good delivery. I'm not able to move a crowd, but, but I can at least study my head off so I can edify the people listening and get them interested in the Bible. And if I'm saying something from the Bible, then I can truly say, God put this on my heart. If I don't have the Bible to back up what I'm saying, then what's the point anyway? Now, when you're using the Bible to back up everything you're saying, I believe God gives you liberty within that. For example, I believe I can teach on whatever I want from the Bible, on here or in a Sunday school class or wherever, as long as it's from the Bible. And I can hon honestly say God put it on my heart. Sometimes you get the idea that a person is spending more time asking God what they should preach or teach than they are studying out and meditating on the words of God that he's already laid out for them. God told you what to preach. Paul told Timothy to preach the word. And many times someone may ask, how do I know what to preach or teach? God's given you 66 books. There's a lot in there. You have you, you got to start somewhere. It's all good. Uh, I believe there is liberty once you are using the words of God. 2 Corinthians 3.17 says, Now the Lord is that spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And just a little common sense you got to use. For example, if you're teaching five and six-year-olds, I don't know if it would be good to teach on end times prophecy. It might go over their head a little bit, although my daughter just turned five and I've been teaching her on that for a while. But as long as you got the Bible, you got a little common sense, I think you're going to be okay. But to sum this up, if what you're saying is from the Bible and it's been on your heart, then God put it on your heart and not you.